today i am explaining you one topic named as lead acid battery working principle and applications so before going to the topic i am uh, giving you some introduction about the what is lead acid battery and who invented it the lead acid battery is a type of rechargeable battery first invented by a uh, French physicist Gaston Planty at 1859. It is the first type of rechargeable battery at that time. Uh, uh, it is small. Uh, it have small energy to volume ratio, very low energy to weight ratio, but also have a large power to weight ratio. Next, uh, up before going. For uh, working principle, small introduction. Uh, we are going to uh, construction part. Uh, this is a diagram of uh, construction. Is what are inside the lead acid battery? Which components there? Uh, like a grid, a negative plate, positive plate, and the uh, plastic case also. So the lead acid battery consists of separators, plates, electrolytes and also plastic case or hard rubber case. Container The container of a lead acid battery is made of glass, ebonite or a bituminous compound. Also it is made of molded plastic. Nowadays it is a mostly made of molded plastic. It has a four ribs two of them is for a positive plate and uh, other two is for negative plates uh, these these four ribs are uh, uh, mat the battery containers are made uh, mainly of resistor to a sulfuric acid the material which you, uh, which we use is resistant to sulfuric acid so the next part is the plate. The plate of a lead acid battery uh, is divided by the some sort of uh, grid which is made up of lead and the active material. The grid is essentially conducting electrical conducting the electric current and uh, distributing equally throughout the throughout the system or throughout the uh, that throughout the uh, plates the plate are of two types and uh, the the plate are of two types formed plates or planty plates and pasted plates or for plates planty plates are uh, mainly used for the heavier weight or more costly plates but the more it is more durable and uh, it uh, it have a rapid charging to discharging ratio for plates uh, for process plates are mainly used for uh, negative plates rather than the positive plates and that uh, we we saw the Plant plates are mainly used for the positive plates. So the uh, the negative active material is quite tough and it undergoes comparatively low change uh, for, from charging and discharging. This is the diagram of how the that plates are arranged in the lead acid battery. The active material which, uh, what is active material means? The active material is the material which takes part in a chemical reaction of lead acid battery. The active material which we use are the lead peroxide PbO2 for positive material, sponge lead for negative material and dilute sulfuric acid means H2SO4. We use it as electrolyte.
separators. Separators are the thin sheet non of a non-conducting material, chemically treated lead wood, porous rubber, or mates of a glass fiber. It also uh, it is placed between the positive and negative insulated them from each other. And next is a battery terminal. Battery terminal are for uh, uh, there are two battery terminal positive and negative. The diameter of a positive battery terminal is 17.5 mm, which is greater than the negative terminal 16 mm. This is a 3D diagram of a lead acid battery. We can see the terminal and uh, positive plates and negative plates set of them. Hello friends, my name is Vavivi Thakri. I am going to tell you working of lead acid battery. The lead acid storage battery is formed by the lead acid storage battery is formed by dipping the lead peroxide plate and spo sponge lead plate in dilute sulfuric acid. A load of connected externally between these plates in diluted sulfuric acid and the molecules of the acid split, split into positive hydrogen ions and negative sulfate ions. The hydrogen ions which reach to PbO2 plate they receive electrons from at the beacon hydrogen atom which again attach attack PbO2 from PbO and H2O. This PbO reacts with H2O, H2SO and forms PbSO and H2O water. This is the reaction of a lead acid battery. SO4 ions are moving freely in the solution some of them will reach to pure pb plate where they give their extra electrons and become radial radical so4 as the radical so4 cannot exist alone it will be attacked pb will and will be form pb so4 this is the figure of a discharging lead acid cell as H plus ions takes electrons from PbO2 plate and SO4 ions give electrons to Pb plate where would be an inequality of electrons between these two plates hence there would be a flow of current through the external lead between this plate for balancing this inequality of electrons this process is called discharging and of lead acid battery during the discharging both of the plates are covered with PbSO4 specific gravity of sulfuric acid solutions falls due to formation of water during reaction at PbO2 plate as the result the rate of the reaction falls which uh, implies the potential difference between the plates as a result the rate of reaction falls which implies the potential difference between the plates plates decreases during the discharging process now we will disconnect the load and connect pbso4 covered with pbo2 plate with the positive terminal of an external dc source and pbo2 covered with pb plate with negative terminal of the dc source during discharging the density of sulfuric acid falls but there still sulfuric acid exists in the solution this sulfuric acid also remains as S plus and SO4 ions in the solution hydrogen ions being the positively charged move to the electrode connected with negative terminal of DC source. Here each H plus ions takes one electrons from the from that and becomes hydrogen atoms. This hydrogen atoms takes attack PBSO4 from lead as lead and sulfuric acid this is the reaction hence by charging the lead acid storage battery cell first lead sulfate anode gets a con covered into the lead peroxide lead sulfate of cathode is covered to pure lead 
terminal potential of the cell increases specific gravity and sulfuric acid increases this is the reaction overall reaction uh, applications of uh, lead acid battery this is the diagram of uh, application areas some important application of lead acid battery are first used in automobiles from starting and lightning for uh, lightning or railway trains used at generating station or substations to operate protective device used in telephone exchanges used in emergency tube lights used for lightning process and uh, remote ruler areas used also in a uh, infector batteries inverter batteries